Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views. In today's video, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks which will help you speed up your iPhone and also extend the battery life of your iPhone. So if you're a long time iPhone user, you probably know a lot of these tricks, but if you're new to iOS and iPhone, you might get a lot of help from these tricks that you will see in this video and speed up your iPhone, especially if you have an older one and also increase the battery life. So these tricks will work on iOS 10, on the newest versions of iOS 10 and iOS 11 as well. The first trick is disabling spotlight suggestion search on apps. So you can do that by opening the settings app, you go to general and then you go to spotlight search and here will have a list of all of your apps and you can disable them right here. Of course, you can leave any of them enabled if you want to have any of them, but you can disable them like this here. All you have to do is just go ahead and turn off these switches and you will be, you will disable spotlight suggestion search on these apps. If you have a newer iPhone, you will have a feature called Rise to Wake, which will turn on the screen of your iPhone the moment you pick it up from a table or you pick it you get it out of your pocket. You can disable that feature to save battery by going to the settings, go to display here and brightness and just go ahead and switch off the switch right here. A thing that will help the iPhone run faster is if you have more memory available. So if you have less memory on your device like less than one gig, your device will be slower. And you can free up memory simply by going to settings, you can go to Safari and if you have a lot of data there, if you have searched and browsed the web a lot, but you never cleared the data and the cookies and stuff like that, you can do that by going to settings, go to Safari and then scroll down and clear history here and website data by clicking here. Also, if you're subscribed to any podcasts on the podcast app, you might not know, but the podcast app will automatically download podcasts for you on your device. You can delete them simply by going here and click the delete button and remove them from your device. Another thing that will help your device preserve the battery life is disabling motion tracking. And you can do that by going to settings and then go to privacy. And if you scroll all the way down here, you will see motion and fitness go here and disable fitness tracking. If you have an older device on iOS 10 or iOS 11, it might be slow. You know that iOS 10 and iOS 11 have those cool parallax effects and stuff like that, but you can disable them. Of course, it won't look as cool as with those effects, but it will be faster. So you go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility, then go to increase, increase contrast right here and you can enable reduce transparency and also another feature that you can enable is here reduce motion this is a well-known feature that you can enable which will reduce all the animations when opening and closing apps and the parallax effect and all that stuff but will make your device faster a very simple thing to do to increase the battery life and also speed up your device so you can have more RAM memory available is disabling unnecessary widgets. So if you have a lot of widgets here that you don't use or you don't need, you just go ahead and disable them. It's of course easy. Just click here and you can disable any one that you want. To make the device run faster and also increase the battery life, it's also very important to disable background app refresh for the apps that you don't need it to. So you go to settings, go to general, and here you will find background app refresh. And if you go here, you have a kill switch here where you can disable it for all the apps. But of course, you might want to keep it enabled for any of your apps and you can disable them individually here with these switches. And the last tip is a simple one. So you might be playing a game or doing any heavy tasks on your iPhone. And at the same time, your iPhone might be updating and installing apps. So it's enabled automatically to do it by default, but you can disable it by going to settings, go to iTunes and app store and here have automatic downloads. Just go ahead and disable them. So that is it for this video guys, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, also go ahead and follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of the video.